Now the floor is given to Ministry of Defense of Ukraine spokesman on ATO-related issues, Colonel Alexander Montuzianik. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Now, information about the events that happened yesterday in the ATO zone. The Lugansk sector, the main flash spot there was uh, Krimske village where the enemy violated ceasefire twice. One of the shellings was a mortar shelling that was rather powerful, and the enemy launched about 20 mines at our positions, and also enemy provocations happened in other areas, three in Stanieta Lugansk region and one in Papasna region. And uh, the militants delivered fire during dark hours. On the whole, during the last 24 hours in the Lugansk sector, there were six enemy shellings. The Donetsk sector in Svetlodarsk's bulges, previously the situation remains tense. Enemy shelling started in the early morning and uh, increased in the evening. The enemy started to use armored vehicles and mortars. In Zaitsev and Verkhnyetaretsk, the enemy also used heavy weapons. The situation was tense in Avdiivka yesterday. Military actions were after 5 p.m. and uh, they continued until midnight. The enemy opened fire with the use of mortars th from three different directions. And in neighboring position, Shakhta Butivka, yesterday there was one enemy shelling in the morning, and after this it was calm and also in the region of the Donetsk airport, it was calm. During the last 24 hours in the Donetsk sector, there were 17 enemy shelling, including seven with the use of heavy weapons. The enemy launched at our positions about 80 mines. Mariupol sector. The enemy was active in Mariinsky region, and uh, they delivered short-term mortar shellings. During the shellings, the militants first launched several mines, then flee in fear of return of fire. And there was a number of enemy provocations with the use of small arms and armored vehicles. It was in the second part of the day. And in the south of this area, the situation remains the same. The enemy, as previously, opens fire nearly at each of our position. At this, they use a wide variety of weapons, uh, starting uh, sniper rifles to mortars. And yesterday, the most uh, tense situation was in Pavlopel and Gnutava. There were 15 shellings, and this is the highest indicator throughout the front line. And uh, during the last 24 hours in the Mariupol sector, there were 32 enemy shellings, including th uh, six with the use of heavy weapons. The enemy launched uh, 30 mines. During the last 24 hours, uh, in the result of the military actions, no Ukrainian servicemen was killed, but four servicemen were wounded. The main losses were sustained in Lugansk, uh, three wounded, and one more serviceman was wounded uh, in Shakhta Butivka position. Ukrainian military intelligence informs that uh, they were able to identify one more fallen militant of Russian origin. This is Rafael Sharifulin from so-called Force Brigade of Russian Occupation Forces in the Lugansk sector. Yesterday, Russian border guards detained at the border between Russia and the occupied territories of Ukraine, the freight with the coffin of the of this occupant, and uh, they did it in order to hide the uh, uh, blood trace made by Russia in Donbass. And in Lugansina, special forces of police improved their professional skills in the fi firing ground. They were trained in pairs and groups. They uh, rehearsed to uh, repel of the attack on the column and fire. Uh, they were trained in firing with the use of different types of weapons. Both experienced servicemen and young rec recruits took part in training. Training in National Guard continue in the Nechina military instructions. The instructors provided training in tactical medicine for the servicemen of the National Guard. They were trained in provision of first medical 
aid on site and evacuation of the wounded from the battlefield. Thank you for your attention.